I'm Deanna Lynch. I'm a Fish and Wildlife Biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I'm based in the Washington State Field Office, and I wanted to provide you with some information about a threatened species we have here in the Pacific Northwest called the Marble Murrelet. The Marble Murrelet occurs um, offshore from Central California in the Monterey Bay area all along the western United States coast up through British Columbia and into the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. But the listed population occurs in Washington, Oregon, and California. The marble murrelet is a diving seabird. It spends most of its time at the ocean, but it nests inland in forested habitat. It's uh, about the size of a robin. It's a uh, brown mottled coloration during the breeding season. And then during the winter season, it's more of a distinct black and white. Um, this coloration makes it easier for them to avoid predators. And then during the breeding season, being in that brown mottled color helps them blend into the forested environment. The other interesting thing about uh, murrelets, and somewhat is repetitive of other seabirds, is they're not really very good at moving on land. Their body is designed to be swimming underwater. A couple of interesting things to point out is that they have webbed feet, and it makes that made for swimming really well. They use these as a rudder, and they swim with their wings. Um, but these are also set really far back on the body, as you can see, which is also makes it difficult for them to be able to walk on land. When they occur on the ocean, they're generally within about three miles of shore, uh, but it varies very dependent upon where they're at within their range. In some places within the range, they're much closer to shore. They are primarily out there to forage. They spend time there resting, and that's where they mate, um, and all of their foraging occurs at sea. During the breeding season is when they come inland to nest. It's usually old growth, mature, forested habitat, conifer trees, uh, and they don't really build a nest, so they are unique among seabirds in that respect. Within those trees, they'll nest on branches or large limbs that usually have a moss or duff covering on top of that. And we'll have a cover above the nest to provide it from aerial predator view. Usually these stands are large, you know, their preference would be 500 acres or more. They only lay one egg, so they don't have a large clutch. It's one single egg that the adults will incubate for about 30 days. They do it for about 24 hours. The female will be on the nest for about 24 hours incubating, and then they trade off, and then the male will incubate for 24 hours while the female goes back out to sea to forage. Once the chick has hatched and come out of the egg, they don't attend that chick anymore, other than when they bring forage in. So they go back out to sea, the adults, and they will catch fish, and they usually bring one single fish, fly it back inland, and feed it to the chick. As the chick gets bigger, it, they'll bring in a little bit larger fish, but it has to be pretty small bait fish like um, sand lance or herring or um, anchovy. Those are the types of fish that they're primarily feeding to their chick. And then the chick fledges, and when the chick fledges, it doesn't get anybody to help it to make its way out to the ocean. Somehow when they're out on the ocean, the juveniles tend to find each other and find the other adults. Most other seabirds are closer to the water, usually on big rock structures or cliffs, and they're more colonial, whereas murrelets tend to be in the forested area by themselves. The marble murrelet is a mysterious bird. Um, their whole life is really designed to be cryptic. Their plumage, their winter versus breeding, keeps them being detected by predators. It, they also tend to fly inland during the dawn and the dusk hours when they're more hidden from predators. And they also nest away from other murrelets so that they're not drawing predators into their nest. When they hear or detect a predator approaching them, they'll freeze in place and then they hunker down and are kind of become invisible in the nesting habitat. And when they're approached at sea, they dive and they move away. So they're really quick and evasive. But all of these things um, make it so that people can't find them. So they're really hard to find, really hard to observe and learn about. So they're pretty mysterious still. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the Marble Murrelet. For more information, you can visit the Fish and Wildlife Services websites.